Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with a quick little knife video for you. Uh, people have been uh, bugging me to do this tag. Started by Blue Collar Survival. It's a very, very cool tag, actually. It's your three knife pet peeves. You guys may want to hear this. So, uh, and I've been bothered a couple times to do it. I said I would, and then I, it's taken me too long. So I'm going to get off my arse and do it. Uh, so I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but here we're going away. Here are my three knife pet peeves. Uh, first of all, and I don't mean to insult this knife because I actually do really like it, uh, despite my pet peeve, but it is an example of a pet peeve, is excessive jimping, just where it doesn't need to be, especially when it's where your finger lands after the flipper tap. This is a Hogue Knife X1 Micro Flip. Honestly, on this particular one, my finger rarely touches that, just the particular technique I use to open it. It's actually not an issue with this particular knife, but this is one that does have it. I don't like it when you you flick and then your finger lands on jimping that doesn't do anything. I don't know why it's there. And I will say that on this one, I said it in the review, uh, it doesn't bother me on this particular one, but it's still, it's pointless. I don't know why it's there. They could have just flattened it out and guarantee that no one's going to have a problem with that. Because there'll be some people that do have problems with that. Just why? Why? I, I don't, I don't get why you do that. Uh, my next one would be, uh, where did I set it? Here it is. Um, and this is probably just me. But pops of color, I don't, I don't get the pops of color. If you're gonna make a knife that's primarily gray, just make it primarily gray. I know we all joke about Brian Speck that I like my knives and very boring specifications, but one that particularly, this is a Spyderco Techno Two. It's a loaner from a lovely viewer, um, and, and it looks great. I really like how it looks. It's great looking, except. I, I don't know why you have the acid green standoffs. I don't get it. Um, if you're going to have a pop of color, make it something that's not so controversial. Green is a love it or hate it color, I think. And it's just... Um, yeah, I don't get that. I I'd, I'd just make it gray or not. I, I don't I don't get the little tiny pops of color. Um I like like a gray with a bronze or something like that, but as soon as you pick an actual color like a purple, even a blue, especially a green, something like that, you you're just setting yourself up for people to uh reject it because of that. Like I really want one of these, but I know the second I got it, I'd pro probably the same day I ordered it, I'd order different color standoffs for it cuz it's just uh not my thing. The acid green. I don't get. I don't get why companies do that. I don't really understand. Does it really matter that much to everybody? Am I stupid? I just. I would rather it just be. Just be gray. If it's gonna be gray, be gray. Embrace your grayness. I say. But by far. My number one knife pet peeve by, by a mile and a half, is definitely. Uh, and it, and I don't mean to pick on Spyderco two knives in a row, but they are the most horrendous offender of it lately, is uh, putting the lanyard hole in a place that makes them put the pocket clip in a ridiculous location. I mean, this is a Spyderco Para 3. I think it is one of the most uh, egregious in this. Uh, you have this giant lanyard hole pretty much requires you to buy a deep carry pocket clip when you buy it. This is a deep carry MXG gear pocket clip, I believe. But look at look at where it would sit if it didn't have the deep carry clip. This is a not a big knife. This is a three inch blade knife and that much would be sticking out of your pocket. That's ridiculous. For the small amount of people who really care about lanyard holes, I think that they are catered to way too much. I, I just think... I mean, I don't know percentages. I don't have a scientific study. But for the 10 or 15% of people who really use lanyards on their knives, we're putting these stupid holes on knives and messing up the whole rest of the knife just to, just to fit in a lanyard hole. And you can do it better. Here are some examples. Another spider kill. Look at this. The Capara. The Capara, they did it well. Look, it's just kind of off to the side there. It's fine. 
Still have the wire clip. Everything's fine. Uh, what else do we have? We have the, uh, does the, no, the, that doesn't even have one. Um, oh, here's one, the Hogue uh, RSK, the little loop over clip. It's got a little bit there. Yeah, it, it they added a little bit of length to the knife, but not a ridiculous amount. And it's not a giant hole. It's a fairly reasonable sized hole. Uh, here is the uh, Best Tech Barracuda. Again, look at that. They put the clip on. They put it off to the side. Everything's fine. I just don't. I don't understand why. Why you have to uh, make these ridiculously gigantic lanyard holes and compromise the whole carry of the knife? Look at this. The Rat Model One. Another good example. Look at that. That's a perfectly reasonable lanyard hole. And this is like a real like you know, outdoorsy kind of knife, kind of you think lanyard people, and still it doesn't have, it doesn't have a giant lanyard hole. Yeah, it still does carry a bit high, but it's not crazy towns. Yeah, I just, uh, that infuriates me when I get a knife and I can tell that, oh, they ruined it for lanyards. And a lot of companies do that, and it infuriates me. So those are my three biggest pet peeves. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.